Okay, how's it going today? This is Greg from Legacy Productions. And I wanted to show you guys on how I make my time lapses. Here I am, and I'm using the shoulder right here today. So it's gonna be very dramatic on how the video quality is gonna look compared to my last several videos where I'm handheld and I'm just moving around the camera, even with the IS on here, um, which is image stabilization or vibration reduction for Nikon, which I'm gonna have to crouch here. So I won't get in this shot because it's a fish eye. I bet you it caught me. Um, for time lapses, I happen to be using a yeah, Sony Action Cam. Let's get a zoom on that. So there is my Sony Action Cam right there. And what I'm doing with this thing is that I'm doing time lapse videos for you guys out there so you guys have a bit of enjoyment. I'm going to see if I can make this thing go till morning or probably midnight and it'll die it's probably gonna happen and well uh, the reason why i'm doing time lapses right now is for the meantime while i'm situating with other things i'll be able to do this and just keep my minds off of things so let's move over to the other side i mean it's already too late the camera already probably picks me up so here it is it's up on a very sturdy tripod do not trust any other my tripods this one's very heavy and I like it because it's just full on uh, aluminum or metal pieces. So there, there I got the legs. Pretty sturdy looking. Just um, look at that. And it all leads up to the camera that's up there, which is a Sony Action Cam. And I have it on an interval so I can get on top of a chair. There. Let's adjust it here, excuse me. There you go, I have it on an interval of five seconds, and right now it's at frame 115, and battery life is already at three, so should turn off image stabilization. Could have done a lot of help, but it's, um, no, I'm at 121. Uh, I was proven wrong there, and it looks like now that I'm gonna suffer the consequences for leaving um, image stabilization on there on my Sony Action Cap. Now on the back of this thing is the usual big red button, you press it and it's in its waterproof casing. Um, the best option is for many of you guys that are going to be doing time lapses, let me turn on the exposure here. Um, the many of you that are going to be doing time lapses out there, just leave it stationary, um, do not move it, do not reposition it if you want to have a different angle time lapses. It's not really the best choice. I'll show you an example time lapse, probably around here, or probably not. And what you get out of that is actually just uh, you moving the tripod for a bit second and then going through there and you have to individually scroll throughout the 2,000 or 2,100 or 100,000 photos you have to go through and make it into a sequence on Adobe Premiere Pro, whatever your editing program is. And it's going to be a pain. And going through there and finding those exact images to cut to the one is not going to be an easy process unless you want to go through the video editing software and go ahead and butcher a, sequence, a bit of uh, your time out of the time lapse and actually make a big gap. So the best stop is just to go get another one of these cameras or just have an alternative. Now I can use the Nikon D5100, but what I'm going to get out of that is not much of a uh, file size and also there's a bit of a limitation with the focusing range. Because this thing is the best focusing and it will uh, hurt itself. So that's it right there, that's the Sony Action Cam on its tripod. And right now it's just getting its, it's getting its sunlight. I'm going to focus this right. It's getting its sunlight here. So, that's pretty much it. I mean, if you guys enjoyed this video, uh, please leave us this, um, a um, like, a thumbs up there below, and go check out my other videos and show you what I'm using. I'm on my shoulder rig here, so that's why I'm getting much stable footage compared to the majority of my videos. Let's go on and move down to the to the, um, the bathroom here. And voila, there I am. It's pretty stable for having a DSLR on a shoulder rig. Now, why do I choose to have it on the shoulder rig is, uh, well, one of a few many things is the first thing is that uh, if you So here we are uh, back. Sorry for the for the interruption, but here's my shoulder rig still continuing with its mic on top. Uh, I'm using the lav mic here so I can so I don't have to be 
having my audio instead of just shooting it dire that directly that way, it would be coming towards me, and it's it's a whole complication of how to get your audio focused right. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. This is Greg from Lexi Productions. Um, if you guys want to learn more about time lapsing, leave a comment below. Um, if you guys want to learn how to time lapse this camera here, um, go ahead and leave a comment asking, hey, you should do a show us how to do time lapse. Go ahead and leave a comment below, and I hope you guys enjoy this video. And this is Greg from Lexi Productions, and see you later.